Hey everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. Today we are doing our June budget. I guess it's going to be a money Monday. I'm not sure. So first I'd like to take out my monthly budget insert. These I designed myself. You can find them on my website. They're probably in a bundle, but if you need it separate, you can just send me a uh, DM through Instagram and I'll be happy to fix that for you. So first of all, we need to leave this open so we can see what we did for May. Y'all, I haven't been checking in here, but I do check in my A5 because a lot of the stuff just goes to my A5. So June, y'all. <laughs> can you believe it? It is June. It is the middle of the year. Six months have gone and six months are left. I say Merry Christmas. So let's dive right on in. Um, I'm using this Deli uh, 0.5 pen. You can find this in my shop as well. So we're not gonna do income right now. We're gonna go ahead and just start. I like to start with um, my most important bills, bills is easy for me to remember that I definitely cannot, cannot forget. So let's go with car note number one, and that is 181.60. And I'm gonna check these off <laughs> as I go. Car notes number two, and that is the same, 181.60. Um, NFCU loan, and that is $96.90. Oops, y'all, we had a light fall. Hold on, a trouble light. Okay, sorry about that. So, I'm gonna put the dollar signs. Not that I need them, but I like to have them. And then we have car insurance. And this month, um, I think it's going to be two thirteen thirty three. They'll normally send me a bill if this changes. That's what this plus and minus sign is for over here for me. Um, next, I get into my credit card bills. <laughs> ah, that reminds me, I need to pay those starting tomorrow. So we have Lane Bryant. And I'm going to get rid of some of these. Some of these was just so unnecessary, really. So unnecessary. That's 29. We have Ulta. Ulta was definitely an unnecessary one. They just gave it to me. Gave me a nice little limit. And I just took it. Okay, Wayfair. Now, Wayfair messed up because they turned it from a Wayfair card to a regular Master card. That ain't my fault. <laughs> Okay, next up, Victoria's Secrets. I know this is a lot of um, credit cards. And again, like I said, they are unnecessary. 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 <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Get it together, Yoshida. Then we have Amazon, and that's due on the first. That is $12.99. Um, my CMP sub box. Listen, if you don't have you're not subscribed for the CMP sub box, June is going to be major. I started to sign up for another one, but I really just cannot afford the extra uh, this month. So, okay, next up we have Canva. The funny thing is, I have not seen this come out of my account. So, I need to look back and make sure. Insta Ink is $20. And they take it regardless if I use it or not. That's... 20. Um, T-Mobile. Oh, Lord. If you've been with me for a while, you know I struggle with T-Mobile. So, I don't know. I'm going to put 300. My daughter just got a new phone. It throws me off. I was in the process of paying the phones off to get the bill low. And then she got a new phone and added it to the bill. So, let's pray. <laughs> Let's pray that we can get this down. Okay, next up we have Apple. And I really have two apples, but the one that I see the most is $2.99. Y'all, this light is just doing a whole situation here. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that, y'all. So we were talking about 
the Apple Bill, and um, there is another one. I think it's like three forty nine. I'm not gonna add it, um, but I'm gonna put down Capital One. That's another credit card, and that minimum is twenty five. But I wanna up it to thirty five. And then we have Barclays, and that's 40, and then Citibank. And that's, it's about 42, I think. So, let's do some mathing. So, I'm gonna guesstimate my projected income. It's only like one source, and it is gonna be about $2,000, okay? That's just a guesstimate, and this is what, after I did a little bit of math, I'm not including anything coming from my website because, you know, things have been slow, and it's a little shifty. So, um, we're just gonna round this up here, and it's 13 hundred and three dollars and sixty one cent that is all the bills and with my guesstimation of two thousand dollars that leaves me y'all my lights maybe somebody's in here maybe it's a ancestor in here that wants to say something to me um So that leaves me roughly $696.39. And to me, I'm pretty much at a zero budget because there are other miscellaneous things I need, such as household things. Those are in my digital envelopes. So I will distribute that money accordingly. Um, I'll put this back. Now, what I'll probably do is speed through my um, June monthly i don't want to bore you guys um this calendar i made myself i'm thinking of bringing um, monthly calendars to the shop for next year but the first thing i'm going to do um i have a travel kind of plan i'm going to richmond um in june my niece gets married in july but i'm going down sometime in june and I'm going to help get some like the decorations together. Also, I want to spend some uh, planner time with my good planner friend, uh, Shakisha, over at Scripts by LNC. So I'm making a note of this because that's going to require gas, money, um, you know, probably eating out, things like that. So that's why I just made a note of that. So I already know that on the first, we have CNP, we have Amazon. And then here on the second is all of the credit card bills. All of them, not all of them, but we have the, I call them the community bank ones, which is um, Lane Bryant, Victoria's Secrets, Ulta, and Wayfair. I don't know how much pretty enough of this I'm going to do. And then that's pretty much how my week goes. And then the second week is car note number one. And then on the 20th, we have car note number two. Uh, the 28th, we have car insurance. And the 17th, we have Citibank, we have Barclays, 
on the 18th. And then on the 15th is Capital One. And let's see. High note. I think Canva comes out like on the 27th, at least it's supposed to. So I just looked through my A6 and Apple comes out on the 20th. At least that's what they took it out on the, um, in May. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Capital One, Barclay, Citibank. That is all of the... Well, T-Mobile. T-Mobile comes out like the 21st. Let me see that around here. T-Mobile. But I'm going to have to pay a bill. I'm going to add that over here to my um, sidebar as well because I want to catch it up. And I usually put a past due because it's normally past due. But I'm going to try to give them something on Wednesday because um, normally, like if I do anything in the shop, it's like payday on Tuesday. It's supposed to come on Monday, but it'll come on Tuesday. But being Monday is a holiday, it may not come to Wednesday. So I can take care of them on Wednesday with something. Oh, and then I need to make a note of car insurance because last week was slow. So I have like a 15 day grace period. So I wasn't able to pay it on the 28th. So I'll probably be taking care of that here as well <sighs> and i just realized something you guys that i totally forgot my booth rent so my booth rent which we don't know how we're gonna pay it i mean we know how we're gonna pay it but it is 800 yeah 800 it is 800 for the month so there goes that 696 so we're gonna pray for increase. Oh, this is May. Let me put it over here. Booth rent. And again, that's just a guesstimate. I'll put the actual of what it was. I'll try to keep up with that. But this is pretty much everything. Insta Ink. Let me see if I can find when Insta Ink came out. And I have Canva. So Canva came out on the 11th. So I'm gonna take Canva off of the 27th. It came out on the 11th.
Okay, you guys, so I wanted to hop back on. I wanted to speed through that because um, I came with this bright idea that um, I wanted to mark the auto pays. So I use these stickers here by uh, Planner Kate. Uh, yeah, Planner Kate. And um, just to mark auto pays, just to see how that'll work for me. Um, I put down my pass through stickers, which are basically for my car insurance here and my T Mobile. And I left these are my favorite stickers, y'all. You see, I've gone through these and I keep some in my A6 because I use these to um, notate, you know, just totals. So I wanted to put those down. So when I pay this bill, because even though I have the set amount, I want to give it a little extra. So whatever I decide to pay, I can write that in here. So I'm going to put these back and I just put do stickers on, you know, just a little, you know, a few of them right here on Capital One just for a little deco but i really don't need deco i really don't i just like to get to it and get it done so i'm enjoying this view of my budget planner and i will basically copy this into my a6 because my a6 is my everyday carry so i will copy this into that and that way i can if something comes up which let me show you I don't want to be long today, but uh, let me show you. So this is it in my A6. So what I like to do, see, I can put notes here, P.O. Box Renewal, um, my dog's flea bill, which was due in April. Um, if a bill comes up like the Canva, that's how I happen to look into this calendar. And I saw that Canva came out on the 11th. So obviously it did. So I was able to put it in this calendar so yeah i keep a running to do a running one here in my a6 as well this is just for everything this is for like business this is for budgeting it's for whatever like my co-worker baby was born you know just random stuff but it's important because if i have this with me and let's say i get an alert that something came out of my account and it's a bill that I've just totally forgot about. I'll go ahead and write it in this planner. And then when it's time to plan or budget, I know what day that it came out. And I just thought about something else as I was showing you guys that after pay. I'm going to take, I think these are whiskey by cloth and paper. Um, I'm going to take one of these because I have some after pays. And I'm trying to pay those down as well. I didn't put that in the budget, but um, I probably should have. So let me um, write these down. So I just paid a bunch last week. So um, I'm going to move it after pays. And then I have an afterpay, um, I'm going to put it over here because I just paid a bunch of them. So some should be coming up this week. So I owe like $169, I think total. But, you know, of course, you can just pay on them and monthly. So I want to kind of get to the point where I can pay that off. So anything extra will be thrown at afterpay. So I'm going to leave it there in a appointment box. Mm. A date box so that's it you guys thank you so much for watching today i really appreciate you guys so much for tuning in i want to welcome all of my new subscribers i am so happy to have you here at the cove my uh planning schedule and my filming schedule is a little uh off right now but no frets i am here i do come back but i just want to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for subscribing for watching commenting i really appreciate you guys so much and if today is your first time watching any of my content and you enjoy today's video and you would love to see more for myself do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new content and i will see you back here on the cove next time bye